My name is Ross Willard. I am the Chief Mechanical Officer of Recycle Bicycle Harrisburg. I fix bikes. I teach people to fix bikes. So Recycle Bicycle started out of a need. My wife and I both ran nonprofits. One day she said, let's go feed people. So I was out on the street. I watched kids going down a hill with no brakes. So I reached in the back of the van. My bike was there. On the back was a little tool bag. I pulled it out. I started fixing bikes. The tool bag became a toolbox, which became a van, which became a trailer, which became a warehouse. Well, the first 20 years, we worked out of buildings that had no heat and no bathrooms, and the lighting was poor, but I teach frugalness. It was a place to store bikes and parts. Let's go. So our mission is first, keep people safe, two, get more people on bikes. We don't want any kid riding around without brakes. So we fix it for free. Get more people on bikes because it's great for the environment. It's also great for their personal pocketbook. We would teach you using college level physics or whatever you're capable of understanding how to turn a wrench. But that way you understand what you're doing. It isn't just, oh, you memorize, I turn the wrench. So when it breaks, you know how to fix it. So we are a teaching shop. We can teach anybody. The bikes are free, the parts are free, the tool use is free. I get the tools back when you're done so somebody else can use them. You're going to need a locking system suitably strong that I can't break it with a screwdriver with my bare hands. And I'll ask the question, what happened to your old bike? Because our title again is Recycle Bicycle. What happens is not every bike donated can be repaired. We might scrap it and we'll use those parts to fix another bike. And then that frame will get melted down and come back in as a new bike from the factory then we're actually recycling the center. Uh, the parts, we reuse them. And if we don't use them, we send them to other nonprofit shops to use. So we recycle over, uh, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred bikes. But in doing so, then we're left with a thousand bikes or more that we give away every year. We love what we're doing. It shows in here. Behind me, there are probably close to 20 volunteers helping people today. And so in doing so, we are called Recycle Bicycle, but we're really Recycle People. We had a homeless guy come in, we gave him a bike. He helped load the scrap trailer to earn it. He came back later and helped volunteer. After a while, he said, Ross, his kids were gonna come visit him. He's homeless, what? He was getting visitation with his two adult teenage, well, they weren't adult, but big teenage sons. He wanted to fix up bikes so they could ride around the city. So his Ex-wife dropped them off at a church in Harrisburg. They slept in the basement and they rode all over the city that weekend. Then he kept fixing bikes for me. And he said, you know, I could get more done if I had a key. And I gave him a key, but he couldn't live here. So he would sleep underneath a bridge. He would get up in the cold, come out here, fix bikes. And after a while, we got him a job fixing bike taxis and being paid. After he did that for a while, he then started staying with the owner of the bike taxis because he proved himself. And then he moved on to an apartment and then he moved on to doing his original business, HiVag. So we recycled him. We took him from being homeless to back to being an upstanding citizen in relationship with his kids. That's what I call recycling. 